welcome to the project demonstration of iot based distribution system for IO, uh, high current alerting with emails so here in this project we are going to monitor the distribution section of these two loads using the pzea module so which will provide us the four parameters mainly so that is uh, voltage current and uh, frequency along with power factor value these four parameters continuously read by our ordinary uno board and that will be displayed on the lcd screen and continuously we are going to upload the same data to our blink application in this graphical presentation and also if is there any high power consumed so high load is detected so that will be identified by our same pzda module along with arduino you know and at that case so the system will on the buzzer as a audible alerts and uh, we are going to sending a email alerts to the predefined store email id from the blink application and also we will get app notification alerts so there are the three alerts one is the buzzer another is the email notification and there is a notification alert if you close this app also you will get the alert notification directly to your phone so coming to the interfacing connections we have interface this current transformer is a toroid ring so which will act as a current transformer in in this project case so that will be interfaced to this uh, pzda module so it will take to the devils input and a current transformer so which will measure the current waveform as well as the voltage waveforms and then parallelly we are going to calculate the power factor value and current will be measured directly and a voltage will be measured from this yellow and green wires so here this is the regulated power supply board which will take 230 volts inputs so we are providing 230 volts input parallelly to the load parallelly to the pzda module and to this regulated power supply board so there we will get the 5 volts constant power supply as its required voltage for our uno board and input and output modules so once we provide the 5 volts it start reading input from this module and next buzzer alerts when the high current is detected and continuously we are going to sending that to the blink application so coming to the interfacing connections kar kar so coming to the interfacing connections we have interface the pzda module at 8 and 9 pins of our uno board and esp8266 module 0 and 1 and lcd at pin number 22 pin number 7 and the buzzer module at 13th pin directly so before switching on this switch we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so if you are using android phone just go to hotspot settings and change the hotspot name to project5011 without any space and without any capital letter and password should be 129 this is very important if you are using iphone then change the iphone name to same project 5011 i am repeating that without any capital letter without any space after enabling the hotspots enable the data also okay so i enable the data and then log in to the blink application from the given credentials see here here there is a red mark here the red icon is nothing but the device is offline so then you can switch on the cage so once you switch on the cage the esp module will be connected to your phone so you can see that the one device is connected directly so initially just it will jump to the high current then after the first reading it will be stabilized so continuously you will keep on getting the voltage frequency and the current and the power factor value so as of now there is no load that's why we don't get this current and power factor values so here we set the current limit for 0.50 milliamps 0.50 amps so means not more than 120 watts of load so i am placing the load here so you can place the load wherever you want so it doesn't know that position just it will measure the current from this toroid ring on this through this wire so we will get the so 0.47 amps and a power factor is unity power factor and the voltage is same data is appearing on our 16 by 2 lcd screen so once we connect the 60 watts then automatically the current will increased so you will get the app notification of alerts high current and you'll get the email notification also you can see that right so this is the email notification which we get from our blink so high current take action immediately so till this load is present once you remove the load it comes down to normal 
so you can place the load wherever you want more there is no like position for the measuring the load by the system so right